no, I, it was more of a misunderstanding okay. than anything uh, because uh. you you thought I was saying uh, Kyle's going to trick away games this year's not important to him. Uh, no, what 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 I'm trying to say is that I think Kyle Shanahan, I think Larry Larry Kruger hit it right on the way. You're going to go with Trey Lance until you can't go with him anymore. I mean, right. you, you just right. are. There is no scholarship in but, you yet. But what I'm saying, and, and Kyle Shanahan, see, there's two things to me between criticism and insulation. Like, if the 49er, Kyle Shanahan's going to be criticized. Yeah. But he's, but he's insulated himself from that criticism. And so what I'm getting at is, while we may, fans may be yeah. disappointed if the season doesn't go their way. I gotcha. Deep down, Kyle Shanahan knows he can survive right. this year. And you know what, and, Stani? And, and, no, and he knows he can survive it if they're bad, but he doesn't want them to be bad, obviously. But that's why they got Jimmy. Right. They got Jimmy Garoppolo so that if Trey Lance gets nicked up, uh, that the season doesn't go down the tube. And that's all I was trying to d d d get over to you. And it was coming across from you to my speakers like you were saying, you know what? Even though he has that job security or whatever you want to call it, Stani, I always talk about the fans because that's what I am, and it means something. In the court of public opinion, you can lose something as a coach. You can lose something as a GM, and that's faith. And the fact that they kept Jimmy, I appreciate it because it's not just about uh, Trey Lance's development. That that That's 96% of it. But those other guys in the room want to get back to where they got last year. Right. And if that means 10 and his experience, yeah. is, it needs to be out on the field. I don't think Kyle's going to say, no. you know what? I didn't show the world I got a hot shot kid who may be a Hall of Famer, but it may be year three, year four. I don't believe he's afraid to make that change. Of course he's not. See, that's... Of course he's okay. not. And that's why... That's I why, respect him that's more That's why for the that. one thing I disagree wholeheartedly with some 49er okay. fans is that uh, Trey's going to play until he's hurt. No, he's not. He better play well. <laughs> right. Listen. I agree. So, something's starting to come into focus for me. Minolta. A little bit. When they were thinking about bringing Jimmy Garoppolo back, okay, he went and talked to their senior counsel and said, what do you guys think? Da, 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 yeah. The other thing. Listen, you know damn well. He told those 20 guys, hey, listen, we think we got a nice little quarterback here in Trey Lance. A little bit raw, but we're re we, the, you know what? The NFC stinks. We should, you know, I okay. think, but, but we, this kid might be really good. He might be pretty good right off the bat. I, you know, him and Jimmy, Jimmy or him, he does different things, but there's not a lot of difference. So our plan is we're going to give this kid Trey Lance a shot. And see if see what he can do. But guys, I'm telling you right now, All right. we get behind the eight ball. I'm going to Jimmy. The only and and if he goes to Jimmy at that point, yeah, he'll get crazy, uh, but it won't matter. The only way, and this is where I say okay. Kyle Shanahan has insulated himself, which he has not only from his team if he does it right, but for okay. the fans, he's, right. he's very very smart. This guy. Um, this but, guy, let me go ahead. What? No, this the guy. The only like this. way. This guy? The only way Kyle Shanahan can screw this up is if he plays the quarterback who's not the best quarterback. If he, in week six or five, is playing the quarterback that the team doesn't think is the best quarterback, they're Done. And they are yeah. done. And I don't think he's that type of dude. You hit that out the park. He's got he's got to I think we've become best friends. He's gotta be honest to the team first. And I think Stani, if you can for a second and people out there listening, forget who we called in the room. Forget just understand my respect for Kyle and John. If it matters, Stani grew the fact that they had the balls to retain Jimmy. Forget who they talk to first. That's telling me, What's the difference you know what? We still are not going to let this season go down the tubes because we think this young kid's ready. What and you, it, okay. yeah. what, what, like what it grew you, what for you, me. What, that's, okay. I, I can see that. Okay, right. Because they're telling me. I accept like, that we, point we of view. We put did in right. there in week four, week right. five. So you, Hopefully we don't have to. So you call it gutsy? Yeah. I call it arrogance. I call it arrogance. That's to, the difference. To bring in Jimmy after you name Trey? To, to explain I, that. I, I think, I, I mean, just the way they've handled a lot of what they've handled. But yes, particularly 
the quarterback situation. There's something about Kyle Shanahan. Of course they thought they knew noise would come if and when. And, and. But you know what? Because we got the, some sound. There, there's an arrogance about... And, you know, on, you could just say, oh, that's great, Steiny. They don't hear the noise. They do what's best for the football team. Great, yeah, you're <laughs> exactly right. You're right. right. But, but to me, I kind of look at it the other way. You know, I, I, could, I look at it the other way. I'm like, wow. You, so, so what, Kyle, you, you think of all the coaches who have ever coached in the National Football League and all the things they've said about the delineation between the first string quarterback and the second string quarterback and the this and yeah. the that and Warren Moon saying it's weird, unusual, Terror it's gutsy, from Steve blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I think he thinks, I can do it. I can do it easy. In fact, oh, there's you no even, doubt. In fact, even asking me if I can do it, hit the pike because I'm Kyle Shannon. I think there's some of that yeah. in Kyle Shannon. And Steiny, that started when he made the decision, and we're we're living it now. Exactly. That trades the guy. Yep. Yes. It's, it's arrogance. I get it's. It reminds well, me of what you used to talk about with Don Nelson. Let me show you I can do it this way, and I'm not mad at that until it doesn't work. Right. <laughs> right. Uh, all right, here we go, baby. 888-957-9570 is the number. Uh, let's, let's get in and take your calls. Steiny just won't give up on the quarterback talk. Talk about something else. Okay, let's talk about Gabe Kapler and Jay Littell. Hit the <laughs> that pike. was great, though. Hit the pike. That was great. Steiny, he walked the, the Listen, down. man. Hey, the 49ers quarterback situation is the biggest story in the entire National Football man. League.